Hello everyone, good morning. Sorry I'm running just a couple of minutes late. I'm still setting a few things up, so bear with me as I get this little cover up so I can change behind it. Hope you're having an amazing week. Happy Friday, TGIF, right? I am so excited for the weekend. I had a very busy week and I mean, the biggest reason why I'm running a little bit late is because I had to drop off my daughter to school and then I had to just do a couple of things at work really quick. But anyways, I'm here. I'm just gonna pop this up and then we will get started, okay? Cool. All right, just gonna make sure this works. Yep, perfect. All right, so hello, my name is Rose Basil of Rose Home and Family. I typically like to live stream on Fridays. If I can't do Fridays, I live stream on Thursdays. For a while there, I was doing so good, like live streaming every week, but then summer vacation rolled around and my daughter was home with me, so of course, family comes first, I had to focus on her. Well, now that school is back in session, I have more time to start doing live streams again, woohoo! So here I am, gonna be talking about an amazing clothing line or two clothing lines that are sponsoring me today. The clothing lines that we're working with today is Hot Touch and Zigu. I really, really love these brands. They have affordable clothes with great quality. I always love affordable, great quality clothes because being a mom, I need to be on a budget and I'm sure you are on too. So, you know, it comes in handy. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment as we go along. I will be sure to make sure to look over and then as I see your questions, I will answer you. You could say hi, let me know how your day is going. You know, just don't be shy. I understand if you're at work and you can't talk, but I appreciate it when I can chat with everyone. Also too, since my schedule is a little bit crazy right now and I'm not live streaming every single Thursday or Friday, the best way to keep in touch is to hit that follow button. Once you hit that follow button, you will get notifications before I go live, as well as notifications when I add new stuff to my storefront, which I do weekly. Sometimes a few times a week, sometimes only once a week, but I love to add new stuff to my storefront because I'm obsessed with Amazon. Amazon clothes are my favorite. I shop on Amazon for everything, you know? So if you're like me, it helps to be able to get reviews and to know what is awesome and what works for other people as well as what's not so awesome, you know what I mean? Also too, especially since we're talking about clothes, I highly recommend that you look for the carousel. If you don't see the carousel already list, uh, already showing either below the video or to the side of the video, there should be a shopping bag icon. If you click on that, you should see the carousel. The reason why the carousel is important, especially when I'm talking about clothes, is because I understand that not everybody likes what I like or not everybody's body is similar to mine. So it helps to be able to see what size is or what colors the clothing comes in, whatever patterns that they come in. Because, you know, we want to get things, I really want to help you get something that will make you feel beautiful and not just what makes me feel beautiful. I just like to share what I love because obviously I love it. But yeah, we want to make sure that you're able to get something that is perfect for you, for your skin tone, whether you're warm or cool, your height, your weight, your age, regardless, you know, just go ahead and click through that, um, the carousel, check it out. Also too, I know that some people are really specific about what types of um, cloth, like what kind of fabric you like. So I'm not really great at that. I'm gonna be completely honest. I tend to forget the types of fabric. I just don't <laughs> retain that type of information. I just go by how soft it feels on my body, how well it fits. So if you want more in-depth information, click on those links, it'll help you. All right, so let's get talking about the cute clothes that I'm gonna be showing you today. Like I said, I am sponsored by Zigu and Hot Touch. They have affordable fashion, I love it. Their fashion is high quality, so it's not like you're gonna wear it a few times and it's gonna fall apart. It's gonna be great for you to wear from year to year. I specifically wanted to get things that I think you can start wearing this summer and transition into fall throughout fall, basically into winter, especially like the flannels, you can wear that into winter. So that's what we're talking about since it's basically still summer, it won't be 
fall for another couple of weeks but I'm already in the mood to like start dressing like fallish you know autumn wear so if you're like me and you're really interested in looking at some cute transitional clothing then check it out all right so with that being said let me talk about the first cute clothing item that I have which is this flannel I do think some of these still have the tags on so bear with me I'm gonna clip them off as I go along some of this stuff I've tried on prior to the stream some of it I haven't yet so we're gonna try it on together it'll be fun <laughs> all right but yes this flannel the reason why I love this is because it is a thinner fabric so it's covers up but it's not gonna make you super hot especially if you're like me and you're already wearing your flannels now luckily for me when I go to work it's nice and cool it's air-conditioned so I can wear long sleeves but you know it really just depends on your situation and if you're able to wear things that are warmer or your location because I know some people it's already getting cooler and you live in a nicer climate so if you do love this I love the color I am a beige girl I wear white but since I have like more of a warmer skin tone I like to wear beige and this is so cute because for the longest time I did not wear flannels I thought flannels you know that they can make you look a little bit lumberjacky that you know my husband wore flannels so I was just kind of like mm, I don't know if they'll work on me I see a lot of women love them but I just didn't think that they worked on me I ended up borrowing a couple of his flannels for some events like I went to a corn maze and I borrowed one of his flannels and I was like you know this is really cute just I need to get a color for me so this year I bought a few this is the one that I got I love this sorry somebody's calling me let me get out of that phone call perfect so let me show you how this looks on me okay first off I'm gonna show you the different ways you can wear it obviously you can kind of drape it over your shoulders which gives a cute little preppy look especially with what I'm wearing I'm wearing more warmer tones to go into the whole like fall vibe that's coming up super cute it actually is very similar to the type of plaid from clueless you know when um not share when um, the girl from clueless was wearing that two-piece outfit very similar to this except hers was more yellow so this is more of a muted color more neutral which I love so you can wear it over your shoulders you also could wear it tied around your waist I always especially when I'm wearing leggings like to have something tied around my waist it comes in handy you know especially if you're in one of those situations like me where I'm at work and it's like when I'm inside of work I'm cold I gotta wear it but then when I step outside to go pick up my daughter from work, from school, <laughs> after work, it's hot. So I just throw it around my waist. Looks super cute, super casual, very stylish. All right, next, I'm going to put it on. But first, let me show you these buttons. I like that they're just all white buttons. Because I got a few other flannels from Zigu, and the buttons are different. So I wanted to highlight that these are all white. They match your, your flannel. I always try to make sure my buttons on my flannel match the pattern. And yeah, it's it's thin. See, it's not thick. It doesn't have any like fluffy stuff on the inside to make it like super warm, but it's really good. And I'm so excited to wear this. See, super cute. I love this color I got this in a large usually when I wear flannels I like to size up so they're nice and comfy they're a little bit loose because especially during the winter there's a big chance that I'm going to be layering so I always recommend to size up in case you layer so you could put a sweater on underneath or you could wear something a little bit more loose underneath and not be like constricted so this is super cute I love the look of this again it's more elevated because it's more of a neutral tone as you can see on the carousel there's the model wearing it it looks gorgeous on her that's actually why I really wanted it I looked at it on her and I was like this is super cute and then it has a nice length in the back it comes way down like mid thigh so it covers everything up if you want to wear leggings you absolutely can and the little buttons here you can undo those which I'm going to do now 
this, as you can see, does not have any pockets on the front. So if you're a girly who likes pockets, unfortunately, these do not have them. But I like them without. Like, I have some with, some without. Like, it just really depends on, you know, if you're going to be carrying things, if you're going to have your kids around you, you want to carry little things in your pocket. But yeah, see, it looks great. I love it. And then um, let me show you how it looks if it's tucked, because sometimes I like to tuck to make, um, you know, more of a put together look because I do wear these to work. I have already been wearing flannels to work. See, super cute. Love, love, love this look. I think you would love it too. It's a great look for different ages. You could wear it as a teenager. Like, you know, I could see teenagers wearing these, especially like with it tied around my waist, the way that that looked, kind of grunge. You know, if you're my age, you know what the grunge 90s look kind of was, where <laughs> people would tie the, um, the flannels around their waist. So it has a nice little casual look to it, but then it also can be dressed up. I'm 40 and obviously this like looks great on me so you know it's flannels are you could wear them at any age just depending on the colors that you get and the size of the plaid because i think it totally matters i always need to get big squares i don't get like the small squares but you know everyone's different some people like the small square look i think the small square look is really good if you're doing like you know a barbecue or if you're going camping this is more so something that I wanted to wear to work or, you know, when I pick up my daughter, when I go shopping, cute little casual look. Awesome. All right, next I'm going to talk about another flannel, which looks so similar because it also has like a beige color, but the beige on the next flannel is actually a little bit more pale instead of having like the black on here. This one has more of a brown color see they're similar but this one's a little bit more of a lighter look it's you know more faded this one is nice deep like khaki instead of beige but the reason why I love this one and had to get both even though they look so similar is because this one is nice and thick so as it gets warmer this is gonna be my go-to oh this one does have the tag let me get that tag off really quick because I'm keeping all these clothes um, Yeah, it's warmer, it does have the pocket here, and then as you can see, the buttons are completely different. They're not all white, but they do match the plaid. It has kind of a beige and a little bit of a dark brown right here, so it matches the flannel. You know, I'm not one to like, like let's say I have a green flannel to have white buttons, because then the buttons just stick out like a sore thumb, and I think it, you know, it doesn't help the look of it. I love the look when the buttons match into the outfit so you're not staring at the buttons and you're staring at the pattern. See, super cute draped on. Has a great look. Again, it's a little bit thicker than the last one. It's not fuzzy on the inside, but it's definitely warmer. And let's see the length on here. It's the same where it's like mid thigh. So it's nice and long in the back. You can wear them with leggings. Let me tie it around my waist so you can see how that looks. Because every once in a while, I get a flannel and then I try to tie it around my waist and then I realize the arms are like shorter than, you know, than my waist, I guess. <laughs> I'm five foot four. Currently, I weigh like in the 150s. So my hips are big. <laughs> I have like a pear shape, but um, 5'4", in the 150s, I typically wear a size medium top. Again, these I get in large. Like the shirt that I'm wearing right now, this is a medium. Um, so if you wear mediums and you want to feel comfortable, I would say two size up. But it looks great around my waist. I probably wouldn't wear it with this shirt because the shirt stands out a lot. Like, you know, it, it doesn't, the colors aren't cooperating with each other. They're not bad. But it's like this is so bright this is so dark and i'm really picky with colors but it still looks cute it'll still match when i put it on see it looks fine i probably would have like if i'm going to dress up this outfit what i would do is i would probably either put a brown that's exactly this shade 
or I would put like a beige. I'd probably go with beige though, just so it would match the outfit a little bit more and be in better harmony. But yeah, that's how it looks on. Super cute. Got the little pocket, which is great for a cell phone. Or you know what I use these all the time for? My earbuds. <laughs> because I put it in the earbud, I'm listening to stuff, and then I stop listening to stuff and keep my earbud in. And then all of a sudden, sometimes I even go to work. And I'm like, I don't even have the case, this is not gonna work. So I'll just take it out and I put it right here. That's like the perfect earbud pocket. Just my secret. <laughs> so yeah, if you're an earbud person, you keep it in your ear, you forget. That's what these little pockets are for. Just kidding. That's what they are for me though. All right, or like hair clips or like earrings. That's another thing. Sometimes I like to wear like earrings, like especially like big dangly ones on certain outfits because I have so much hair. I can't wear like a small earring. I'll wear like a big one. But then sometimes they get heavy, so I put it in a little pocket there. So this really comes in handy for little things like that. This is how it looks buttoned up. Super cute, a little bit more casual than the last one, but I still love it. Especially if you have like a lighter skin tone, this would look really, really cute. I mean, I feel like it would look cute on anyone, but you know, I'm so brown that it's not quite in harmony with my skin tone, but it looks beautiful. That's how it looks tucked in. I could pull up the sleeves and there's the look. Super cute. All right. And just looked at the carousel and realized it's 20% off right now. Every time I see a sale, I highly recommend that you do your best to hurry up and get the items while they're on sale if you're interested in, because if you really don't like the outfit, you could always return it. Like Amazon doesn't make you keep anything that you buy. So it's like, you know, I'd recommend buying it while it's on sale. If you don't like it, return it rather than thinking about it, losing the sale and then buying it later. And you know, you don't get it for the discount, but yes, 20% off limited time, super cute, perfect for fall. All right. The next thing that I'm going to talk about, I got two shirts that are the same exact design, but the reason why I got two is because I'm one of those people where I get a lot of the same design in different colors, because even though it's exactly the same shirt, it looks different, just depending on what colors you wear. It totally changes the vibe, and sometimes I even wear it back to back, like same outfit, different colors, and it really doesn't look like you're wearing the same thing. So. I got the beige and I got the red. The beige has almost like a yellowy color to it. It's so pretty. And then the red, it's like a wine red, which I think this is going to be perfect for like around Christmas. Like it's going to be perfect, perfect, perfect for the holidays. And then this one is really cute when you're going out and about daytime, like daytime, evening or special occasion. That's why I got both. And as you can see, it has a beautiful lace design. I love the collar on this. It's really frilly. It's really feminine. There is a tiny button in the back. So you would have to button that. I love the sleeves. Look at this. So girly, so cute. I love lace. I think lace is my favorite to wear, but it's so hard to find things that are lace that doesn't look like cheap. You know, I like things that are like lacy, but look really, really classy, look really, really elegant and look expensive. All right. So just so you know, it is see-through, but it comes with an undershirt. So as long as you wear that, you're good to go, <laughs> but it comes with an undershirt. The undershirt for me is not form fitting. It's like a little bit loose, which I like. I know on some other people, depending on what sizes you get, it's more form fitting, which could be uncomfortable. But yeah, see, this is a two piece. They do separate. So if you needed an undershirt for any other shirt that you have, you could wear it. Or like, you know, I could wear this and put the flannel on top. So they're not sewn in because sometimes people sew them in. And then, you know, if you wanted to change it up, put something else underneath here, you could, or put this on top of a, like a dress and then put a belt on and make it look like that. Then you totally can. 
But anyways, let me go in my little changing area and show you how this top looks on me because it's so beautiful and I'm so excited to show you. So I'm so excited more people are tuning in. It's a Friday and usually when I'm able to let you guys know ahead of time when I'm gonna do my lives, more people can hop on, which I love. Like I said, I love getting to meet new watchers and getting more ideas of what you guys like. So if there's anything that you particularly wanna see on my live streams, just let me know. I've done home items, I've done decor, I've done like cooking items as well. But my favorites, like I love doing um, clothing. I love doing clothing on lives. All right, so let me show you the undershirt really quick. This is how the undershirt fits. See, it's not like super form fitting, it's nice and loose. I'm wearing a size medium, which medium is usually what I wear. So go buy your true size, you'll be fine, unless you want something that'll be more form fitting. Then you would size down. Like if you wanted this to like fit you, like a glove, size down. But I love the way that it fits right now. All right, and then this is how the top looks on top. See, look at this neck, I love it. It's so dressy, it's so cute. I do just need to button up the back, so let me button that up super quick for you. See the button in the back? It's not the easiest thing to do, but you get used to it. <laughs> but yeah, when you button it, it fits perfectly around your neck. It's not too tight, and see, it's loose. So it's not going to make you feel constricted, and then you're not going to feel too hot. That's why I said this is like perfect transitional wear. You could wear it in the summer because basically it's like wearing a tank top. But then you have a little bit of extra fabric. This fabric is breathable. Look at these sleeves. So cute. I'm not a fan of wearing tight sleeves because it makes me feel like my arms are fat. <laughs> Unless you have super toned arms, you know, not a fan. But yeah, they're nice and loose. It fits super cute. This lace is super stretchy. So, you know, it gives you breathing room. And yeah, I think this is super cute. You could dress it up, you could dress it well, I want to say you can dress it down, but it's pretty dressed up. So you can't dress it up super down. Like the best way to dress it down if you wanted to a little bit is wear jeans. Like it shows on the carousel how the woman's wearing jeans. Looks super cute. But yeah, that's how it looks tucked. I love this. I'm actually going to put this on again when I do my skirt. Because I think that this would match. So I will show it with that again. But... Cute, I love it. And just so you know, right now it's 12% off. Again, like I said, with deals, I would recommend you buy it while it's on deal. Because worst comes to worst, you don't like it, you could send it back, you get your money refunded. But if you wait, you miss out on the deal. So this is cute. The red one, which I'm going to put on next, is actually on a little bit more of a sale. This one is 23% off while the live stream is going. I don't know how long it's going to be at that price, but regardless, even if it's not on sale, these are really great prices. They're really affordable, they're budget friendly, mom friendly, so I love it. All right, so see the difference in the colors. Next, we're gonna do this one, which I think is really cute and festive. So let me switch to this so you can see how that looks like. Actually, I'm pretty sure I'm done with this, so let me go ahead and toss that on my bed. My bed is right there. You can't see it, but just letting you know. All right, so I'm going to switch tops and put the red one on. I can't decide which one I love more. I really love the beigey one because I feel like this beige color is just so nice, and it would look good on most people. But as I mentioned before, these, all of this that I'm showing you does come in multiple colors, multiple sizes. So whatever is the best look for you, that would be your go-to. Whatever your favorite color is, the colors that just look amazing on your skin, look for those. Just because something looks great on me doesn't mean that it's gonna look as good on you and vice versa, like, you know, Sometimes I wear things and then I see other people like 
let me know like, hey, I tried this on, and then I'm just like, oh, it's so much cuter on you than it was on me. But yeah, I'm showing you all the stuff that I love. I was super excited to see all of these different styles. And it's so much fun trying these on with you. As you can see, majority of things that I'm wearing still do have the tags on. Like this one still does have the tag on. Again, let me show you the undershirt so you can see how nice and loose it is. So it's nice because I do not feel comfortable in tight clothes. I could have sworn that I still had the tag on this. I guess I must have taken it off. Okay, but yeah, this one I am trying with you. Again, how beautiful the lace is. This is two layers of lace. This is how it looks like when it's just one layer of lace. Super pretty. The button in the back, and in case you're just now tuning in and you didn't see. I love how the buttons always match the same color as the fabric. Gorgeous. And then again with the sleeves, the beautiful bell sleeves with just the little lacy gorgeous, gorgeousness. So it's so cute. I'm going to try this one on. I love these. I'm so happy that I got these <laughs> because I'm for sure going to be wearing these probably around Christmas time more. I would just need to wear a jacket because indoors I'd be fine. As soon as I stepped outdoors, I would be cold. So perfect for summer. Like you could still wear it in the heat now. I just did the button, as you can see. I'm a pro, just kidding. <laughs> and look, super cute. Yeah, I'm not sure whether I like the beige better or this color better, you know, but as you can see, completely different vibe. So same outfit, different colors, completely different vibe, wear them to completely different situations. It's nice and long, it's nice and baggy. It's like a dream. Again, this is a size medium. I'm five foot four, about 150. Love it. All right, let me show you how it looks tucked in so you can get that whole look. Very cute. Very cutesy, very demure. Just kidding. I hear that all the time on Instagram now, and I have, I mean, I watch where the video came from. I don't get why everyone keeps repeating it. But look at the sleeve. Isn't this pretty? I love these sleeves. I love that they're like a little, like they go rush, rush. Beautiful. Okay, so 23% on. Hop on the sale while it's here. Let me show you this cute skirt. It is a satin skirt and it's midi length, so it's nice and long, but I think it'll match pretty well with this top. So I'm gonna show you how it looks with this top because that's how I would pair it. I would definitely wear this skirt either with beige or white or black or a different red color that's somewhat similar. All right, just so you know, it does have elastic inside, so it stretches, which is awesome. Sorry, it's a little tiny bit wrinkly. Like when you get it, it does come wrinkled, but as long as you have a steamer, it's fine. I like just steamed it as quickly as I can, so it's not perfect, perfect. I like steamed it in like three minutes. <laughs> But it does have a zipper as well, which this, the zipper does not stick out. It blends in pretty well. And as you can see, it zips easily. It doesn't snag, which is so nice. And then it's also 25% off. I actually believe that this one is on a flash sale, which means like, you know, once you see the flash sale, there's a little timer. You only have as long as the timer is to get the sale. So jump on these sales. I'm recommending that to you. But even if you miss it, like I said, it's not a bad price. It's beautiful. It's worth it. All right, so let me throw this on and show you how it looks. Switch out from my pants. I'm such a dress skirt girl. Like I am working so hard on getting more dresses and more skirts because I just love the look. Of dresses and skirts and you know nowadays not a lot of people like wearing them except for like you know maybe special occasions but I like the look I want to wear more so 
I was really excited to see these. And last week, I actually had the same exact dress, but in black. So if you watch, not last week, I think it was the week before last week, I did a live stream. So if you want to see what the black looks like, just go through all the rest of my um, live streams. And it's just the one that I did right before this one. But yeah, I loved the skirt so much in black that I got the red. <laughs> but this is gonna be so cute during the holidays. It's gonna be the perfect holiday skirt. All right, so look, look how gorgeous. This is giving Christmassy vibes. This is giving like date night vibes, super cute. I am obsessed with the way that this looks together. I knew that it would look cute. Like the only other thing that I may add would be maybe a belt, but it looks gorgeous without it. I wish I had this angled so you could see my outfit. It's it's so hard though because when I angle it the right way, it usually doesn't want to stay because of my bed. And then I also have to make sure, I'm taking my socks off. I also have to make sure that you guys don't see me as I'm changing. So it's really hard to get that in the right spot. Next time I definitely will. Let me show you how I'm gonna stand on a stool so you could see the skirt a little bit better. So you can almost see. So it's midi, it comes like to my calves. And as you can see, it's nice and flowy. It's not like super form fitting, except for like right up in here. But as I said, it stretches. So as women, we bloat sometimes. You would not have an issue with this. Um, I might wear a slip because you can see kind of where my shirt is bunching up here. So the only recommendation that I would say for you to do that I didn't do is probably wear a slip with this. But I think this is so cute. I love this skirt. I'm so happy that I got it and I highly recommend it to you. All right, so let me show you the next skirt. The next skirt, I actually also have a skirt very similar, which I showed on the last live stream. The last one, I had this skirt in black. But yeah, this time I bought it in beige because again, I think that beige would be perfect for summer transition into fall. Because the amazing thing about these skirts is that you could wear it like a tube dress, which I will show you in just a moment. You can wear it like a tube dress. It looks super cute that way. And it's super long. So even if you wear it as a, as a dress, it'll come like midi skirt. But when you wear it around your hips, it looks beautiful. It's full length. See, it's nice and stretchy on the top which is amazing. The bottom is so pretty. Luckily, the way that I steamed it, it looks pretty good on camera. But yeah, it's not see-through. So if you wore this outside in the sun, like you could kind of see through it, but luckily they put an extra little layer underneath right here. So it comes with its own slip. You don't have to worry about that. All right, so I'm gonna put this on. First, I'm gonna wear it as a tube dress. Then I'm gonna switch into the beige version of this shirt and let you see how it looks like with the top and skirt matched together. So I'm gonna put this on as a dress. Let me show you. Give me just a minute to change my outfit. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, the week flew by. I mean, I this was kind of a short week because of Labor Day and oh, I much needed Labor Day for my three day weekend. I hope you all had a wonderful Labor Day and got to enjoy, if you had the day off. Like my husband didn't have the day off, so he didn't get to enjoy the three day weekend. But I did, I got a three day weekend and I got to hang out with my daughter, which was awesome. We didn't really do anything, we just like hung out. I seen some people like went on vacation, which is so smart. Like obviously if you have extra time off, and like ET or PTO, that would be perfect to use it then. I just wanted to rest. I thought about it. I was like, maybe we should go do something, but I have big plans coming up in December. We're going to be going to California. We already rented our hotel, so hopefully we will stay well. But yeah, it's gonna be fun. And I'm saving up because, because I wanna, you know, we have all the Christmas shopping that we need to do and everything else, so, you know. But it'll be fun, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm so looking forward to the holidays, like just in general. 
there's so many holidays coming up. We have, okay, hang on. I have a, um, let me take the hooks off of my bra so I can show you how it looks without my ugly strap showing. And let me tuck this in really quick and then I'll show you. Reveal, three, two, one, woo! All right, see, it's so cute as a little tube dress. So this is how you would wear it during the summertime. It looks super cute. Let me show you on the stool. It's the perfect color. I love this color. See, it's beautiful. The way that I would wear it, because I'm not one who likes to bare my arms, is I would just put like a cardigan sweater on top. So it would look a little bit more put together. You could also put a belt right here. A belt really helps with the little definition that you get on your waist. But yeah, that's how it looks like as a dress. It totally works and it's super stretchy. So it fits pretty much any size, like no matter how big or small you are in front. And let me show you how it looks as a skirt. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that, um, that beige shirt, the beige lace shirt that I just wore, I'm gonna put that back on so you could see it. Ooh, let me just take my straps off. So I, I could show you how that looks as a set together. Because you know, it's, it's always nice to just get ideas of different outfits because I know like last minute pairing things can be hard. So it's nice to get those ideas so you don't have to think about it. And then you could just grab it and go. All right, sorry, I had to take my, my straps off because it's gonna take me a minute to put them back on. All right, and then, like I said, I'm gonna put this top back on so I can show you how it looks with this, which I haven't tried them together yet. So it's gonna be hit or miss. I'm really hoping that this looks cute together. The colors are a little bit different, just slightly different colors. The top is a little bit yellowish and then the bottom is a little bit more true to beige. Like the top is almost like a khaki, almost like yellow. So we'll try it. We'll see how it works. Oh yeah, I got a comment. Hi. I will come closer and read it better. Okay, so I got the top on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to button it up and then I'm going to, hi. I hope you're having an awesome day. Look at all those pretty flowers on your name and like as your picture. I love flowers. I'm such a flower girl. But I was born in May, so I'm like spring into summer. So I love flowers. Okay, let me tuck this in so I can give you a better visual. Actually, let me step back here so I can pull it down and make sure that it's nice and tucked in. Okay. But I think it's fitting. Yeah, it looks pretty good together. So if you are looking for an outfit and you like both this top and this skirt, it looks great together. See, look how cute. I probably just would put a small belt. But yeah, I love it. Again, there's the gorgeous top with the lace. This is definitely going to be something that I'm going to wear. I think I'd probably like it better with blue jeans, but it looks cute with the skirt. It's nice to always switch stuff up and have different looks. This is definitely a little bit more of a formal look, or it would be perfect to like wear to church. Like this is screaming church girl. All right, so I'm going to step on the stool so you can see a better view of the skirt. It's super flowy nice and long on me it goes all the way down like it's hard to show you but it goes all the way down to my ankles I'm five foot four in the 150s so if you're about my height five foot four weight 150 ish ish because I fluctuate then this would be super cute on me I'm also pear shaped so I'm a little bit bigger down here than I am up here so like sleeves like this I love it because then it kind of equals it out gives me a little bit more of a hourglass shape all right so super cute love it next I'm going to go into the dresses I got some really really adorable dresses that I'm excited to show you actually most of these dresses I got 
the same thing for the last live stream, just in different colors. Because like I said, I love getting outfits that are similar, but just different colors, or that are the same with just a different color, just like these shirts. But um, yeah, so if you wanna see the dresses in different colors, just go to my past live stream, and then you can get an idea of how it looks in a different shade. The first one, okay. So this, on listing, it says red. This is definitely not red. It's like, it looks like the picture. See, like if you look at the carousel, it looks pink. And I would say it's pink, like a hot pink. If anything, if it wanted to pretend to be red, I would say it's rose, like a rose red. But it's definitely pink, which makes it summer worthy. Cause like everybody who loves pink, I mean, technically everyone who wears pink wears it year round, but this would be perfect for the summer. It is a little bit thick, like it's a sweater dress. See, like you could slightly see through, but it's not see through to the point where you need to worry about your undergarments. And it's pretty warm, but not so bad. Like this would actually be beautiful, like not only in the summer, but you could wear this in the spring. But yeah, you could definitely wear this in the fall and in the winter. Like if you wanted to wear this in the fall, I would recommend like maybe a maroon colored um, sweater draping down with some black boots. Like that's how I would dress it up to make it look more fall. But yeah, it's cute. It has a little clenched waist, so it gives you a little definition in the waist. The arms are straight. They have little lines on the fabric. So it definitely has like a regular sweater look and these do have pockets. So yeah, and it has a square neck too. So it goes down a little bit low, but not so much to where people see too much. It's still very modest and cute. So let me show you how this looks on me. This is a size medium. Sorry, I had to look. Because a couple of these dresses are actually one dress I got in a large because I, as I, as I mentioned before, bought the same exact dress. But the last time that I bought the other dress, I got it in a medium and it was a little bit tight on my hips because I have big hips. So that time I got a large, but this one, true to size, medium is perfect. So whatever your regular size is, that's what I would recommend. Oh, just to let you know too, these skirts, this one and the red one, these skirts, I got these in a size large. I typically wear large or extra large bottoms, so those are true to size as well. But um, more true to size on the lower size, if that makes any sense. Because like I said, I wear large, sometimes I wear extra large, but they fit me as large. I didn't have to size up to an extra large, even though sometimes I do wear those. Um, yeah, but obviously pear-shaped that I wear a medium shirt, but I wear larger, extra large bottoms. It's funny. So just a quick story. I have the hardest time buying pants and even harder of a time buying pajamas because pajama sets, they always want to be like, you know, the top and the bottom or a large or a medium or a small or whatever it is. So my in-laws, they bought me like the cutest pajama set for Christmas like she, my mother-in-law is so cute she loves buying like matching pajama sets so like all of us are wearing the same pajama sets but she got mine in a small because at the time I was a little bit smaller um, I was I weighed a little bit less so at that time I was wearing a size small the top part fit me perfectly the bottom did not so what I ended up doing was I stole my husband's and I just wore his and then jokingly, he ended up wearing mine. <laughs> so it looked horrible on him, but you know, like I said, just cause he had like large and the bottoms fit me better. Anyways, see, this is how it looks. <laughs> Enough of my silly story. Pockets, super cute. It fits great. I absolutely love it. More of a pinky look. See the neckline, how it's a square neckline. So it is nice and open, but it's not low. It doesn't show anything. The sleeves are perfect. Cause you know how sometimes sleeves are a little short. These sleeves are nice. They're nice and long. They go right to my wrist. So I love it. 
and yeah it looks super cute i would definitely wear this summertime fall but you can style it wear it in the winter actually i said winter and in my head i thought if you wore like a white or a beige sweater on top of it that would make it winter but i meant fall for fall you would wear it with the red all right look and then it goes down to your knees so it's a nice length I love longer lengths because then you don't have to worry when you sit down or when you bend over that anything is showing. Super cute. It has like an A-line, so it's not like, you know, I don't like body pod, nothing too tight, but it's super cute. Yeah, last week, what color did I, I had this in red, like a, a wine red, so it like looked like a real red. This time I got it inside of like this pinky shade because I just thought it was cute. All right, so next I'm going to show you the brown. Again, it's similar. The biggest difference is like, if you look at the pattern, see how it kind of looks almost like a braid. And then this one is just lines and it goes inward. So it's similar. The stitching is different. The fabric feels a little bit different. This one's a little bit thicker. This one's a little bit thinner, more like a, a sweater. This one's a sweater too, but it feels more blousey. The sleeves have a nice little like it bells out a little bit more compared to this one, which is just straight down. It doesn't have the little cuff like that. So this one's a little bit nicer. And then the sleeve has a little fluff. This one does not have a little fluff sleeve. That's the big differences. I really, really wanted to get this dress in beige. I said that last time I did the live stream too, because I got, last time I got it in red, this time I got it in brown because I think that this would make the perfect like pumpkin patch dress like for the either that or I could wear it for Thanksgiving for like family photos that's why I got it brown I thought this would perfectly be for like harvest or for fall um, last time I got it in red I love the red I'm obsessed with this dress and I can't wait to see what it looks like in brown and I definitely have to get this in beige as well because I just think that the beige like when you look at the picture if you like go to the carousel if you click on it look at the beige so all right, so let me show you how it looks in brown. The length is about the same. It's such a similar dress to the one that I'm wearing, but it's different. And that's why it's always super important to watch, like if you can't watch a live like this, to look at the videos inside of the carousel, like on the page. Like look at what everyone else looks like when they try it on. I always, always, always look at what everyone else looks like when they try on clothes. Because sometimes these listings are so deceiving. You know what I mean? Have you ever been on Amazon and you looked at a listing and it's like, okay, this is what the outfit looks like and it doesn't look like that? Yeah, that's the worst. But these all look exactly like the listing. The only thing is most of the listings have like really thin women, which if you're really thin, then that's perfect for you. Cause then you're like, oh, that's what it looks like on, your body, on my body size. But for me, I'm curvy. So I always have to like look through the carousel and look through other people's videos to be like, okay, well, what would this look like on a curvier girl? You know, what would this look like on a girl who is like pear shaped like me or who's like, you know, short like me because a lot of those models I know are tall too. So, you know, it helps. That's why I love doing these is it helps me big time to see how it looks like on everyone else. So I like helping you. All right, look, pockets, yay, pockets. And look how cute this is. Wouldn't this be like perfect for either Thanksgiving or pumpkin patch? I love it. And then the fit is, oh, it's like a dream. I actually like the way that this fits better than the other one. This is again a medium, but it fits perfect. I love the little fluff and the sleeve. I love the bottom, how it like puffs out and then it comes in. Um, the sleeve length, let me show you. Perfect, right to my wrists. It is easier to pull these up because of the way that it is stitched right here. It has a little bit of an elastic, so it does stretch right here. But yeah, if you want to pull it up, it, they make it super easy because of the, the sleeve. It's beautiful. And I love it. Perfect for church too. It has a round neck instead of a square neck. The last one had a square neck. So it's my little cross with my crown of thorns. But yeah. Super cute, love it. Did I show you the length? Let me show you the length. 
So again, it's like down to my knees, which I love this length. It has a nice little A-line dress. So it's nice and, you know, you dance in it. Just kidding. It's nice <laughs> and flowy. And then again, perfect length. So when you sit down, when you bend over, you don't have to worry about anything showing. Modest. Very cute. Size medium, true to size. Perfect. All right. This is the next dress that I want to show you. It's, again, similar to this, but the difference is, um, th I mean, this one's actually pretty much almost identical to this one. These are very similar. See, like, the design and the fabric. The only difference is this one's a round neck. It has a higher neck. This one has a lower square neck. So it depends on what you feel comfortable. There's a little fluffy here. Let me get that off. Depends on what you like wearing, but I wanted this one so badly in black. The other big difference is the skirt. See, as you can see, this one's just an A-line, very simple. This one, it has like different tiers on it. There's another little fluffy. I could see it in the camera. Okay, there we go. I got it. My OCD. Oh no, I didn't get it. All right. So as you can see, like it pleats there, and then there's a little area here. So there's two different tiers on it. This is the dress that I was talking about earlier, where I got this in a brown, and I showed it on the live stream two weeks ago. But this one for me. So if you're if you're like me and you have like more curves, or if you're more of a pear shape, I would size up because it fit great on the top. But this little part on the bottom, I didn't like it last time. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it was a little tight. Like, tight compared to, like, how I like to wear it. If you like wearing tight clothes, you'll love it. Perfect. Get it the same size that you normally get. But if you're like me and you need some space, you need comfort, I would size up. Just one size, just for the bottom of the skirt. But if you are not pear-shaped, if you have smaller hips, if you have smaller thighs, you can get it true to size. I just have big legs, big thighs. All right, let me show you how this looks on me. Super cute. Um, let me take the tag off. I actually need to take the tag off the one that I'm wearing too. But did not get to try it on yet. Brand new. Let's try it on together. All right. I only have, after this dress, one more dress to show you. And then I'll be hopping off. But it's almost been an hour. So for anybody who's been watching this full hour, you are amazing. Thank you for sticking in with me. If you hopped on in the middle, no biggie. There's always a replay if you want to see something that I tried on in the beginning. You can always check that out. You know, that's the thing that I love about these videos is the fact that they're recorded so you can always go back. What I actually like to also do too is I like to put these on YouTube because some people like when I tell them that I do lives, they're like, how do I watch your lives? And I'm like, you go on Amazon. They're like, there's lives on Amazon? <laughs> but I'm like, yeah. So not everybody knows how to go live on Amazon. So I put them on YouTube for other people in my audience who don't know how to watch them on Amazon. See, so this fits me like basically the same as this did. And this is a medium. Let me double check. Yep, medium but this is a large, so, you know, don't ever be afraid to size up. Like for the longest time, I was one of those girls where it's like, I needed to wear a small, like it made me feel better if I knew that I was wearing a small. But the trick is, is always to wear whatever fits your body best, because that is what will make you look the best and make you look the slimmest. See, cute pockets, love the length, the length of these sleeves because I got it one size up, it's like the tiniest bit. See, it's like maybe about a half an inch or about an inch past my wrist. So it's a tiny a bit long, but I don't mind that because once it gets cooler, I love to just kind of like, you know, hide my hands like this. But yeah, it's perfect, super cute. I love the color black in a dress because everybody loves a little black dress, but it just fits in basically every occasion, especially nighttime or at work. See, again, it is down to my knees. This one fits so much better than the one that I wore two weeks ago because it gives me space down here. It's more true to A-line. 
But yeah, it's super cute. Love this dress. And highly recommend it. Nice and warm. Oh, I got a little fuzzy there. So many little fuzzies. Nice and warm. Just gorgeous. Very comfortable. All right, so one last dress to show you, which is this one. It's kind of similar because it has the two tiers, but this is hot touch. It's not um, Zigu like the last ones, and the fabric is completely different. This fabric for this red dress is so much more soft. As you can see, it's not like, like a sweater dress. It's more just a long sleeve dress because it's thinner. The fabric is thinner. It has a V-neck and the sleeves do have the little elastic in there, which gives it that nice little bell look. This one does not, but I love this color. This is the prettiest red. I actually got this dress once before in a small and it was way too small for me. This is a medium, which is true to size. I mean, some people may want to size down because it's just, it's perfect. But you know, if you don't like baggy like I do, then you might want to size down. All right, let me show you how this looks. I'm so excited. I think that this is probably gonna what I'm gonna be wearing a lot inside of the Christmas, the Christmas season. But like I said, this I'm talking about transitional fashion. You could still wear this in the summer. Like, if you live in one of those cooler places that are not like 100 degrees like it is here in Vegas, this would have been perfect for like 4th of July or even um, Memorial Day. That would have been the perfect dress. So, anyways, let me show you how this looks on. Really excited. It's also 20% off right now. Get it while it's on sale. If you don't like it, return it. It's not a big deal. But don't miss the sale. Um, let me show you how this looks on. Sorry, I had to super cute dress. I will almost said I'm going to save the best for last, but to be completely honest, all of these dresses are so cute. It's so hard to compare different colors and different shapes, like, you know, how the sleeves are different, how the neckline is different, how the fit is different. It's so hard to compare dresses. I have a mess here. Look how lazy I am. I'm just like throwing things over. That's okay. All right. So, I love the fabric on this. And I did get to try this one on before the live stream, like a couple of days ago when I got it in the mail. So I already know that it fits like a dream so much better than when I got the other size. All right, so look how cute this is. I love the neckline. Again, it like has a nice length to it. It's not too low. It doesn't show anything that you don't want it to. It fits so perfectly. Look at these cute sleeves. It's beautiful. I did have to steam it because it comes wrinkly crinkly and it's very noticeable when you don't steam it. Doesn't show any of my back lines, which I do a, a little bit because my bra. Here, let me fix that. There we go. Doesn't show any back lines because it's a great size. It does have like a little clench right in here. And then let me show you how the skirt looks knee length as always I love either a knee length dress or a midi and then look how pretty this pleat is it makes it look super cute love the look it does also have pockets all of these do and yeah just gorgeous just like you you're all gorgeous thank you so much for watching I love getting to spend time with you I love chatting with you I love trying on clothes with you so again, like I said, if you have anything in specific that you would like to see on my live streams, let me know. Send me a little message or, you know, find me on social media if you need to. But tune in. Next week, I'm going to be talking about girls clothing. I've got a bunch of cute clothes from, I believe the name of the brand is Arshner. And it's for little girls. My daughter is seven years old and all of this fits nicely on her. So if you have a kiddo, a little girl, and you're looking for some cute fashion ideas for her to wear from, I mean, her, the, these are mostly like, they're great for spring, they're great for summer. I didn't necessarily, some, I do have some fall stuff in there. 
So maybe I'll name it a transitional look as well. Something like that. I'll figure it out. But yeah, next week we're going to be talking about little girls clothes and it'll be fun. So tune in, see you next week. Hopefully, if not, again, be sure to follow because I would love to keep in touch. All right. Have an amazing day. See you soon.